everybody and welcome to this week's webinar. Today we'll be discussing the moving averages and we will be getting into understanding the indicator as a whole. There are lots of indicators available but understanding this one will bring a lot of value to your trading experience. The moving average is an indicator that shows the average value of a currency pair's price over a period of time. Some patterns and indicators can be somewhat subjective and analysts may disagree on whether the pattern is truly forming or if there is a deviation that may be an illusion. The moving average is more of a cut and dry approach to analyzing currency charts and predicting performance. Just like any available indicator, moving averages operate with a delay. You will see that it is precisely this delay factor called a lag that makes the traditional method of using moving averages a bit outdated. Because you are taking averages of the price, you are really only seeing a forecast of the future price and not a concrete view of the future. There are two main types of moving average calculations used in trading. Simple moving averages and exponential moving averages. We mentioned the word lag, but what does it really mean? There are two definitions for a lagging indicator in Forex trading. Here we will focus on the technical analysis definition. A lagging indicator is a technical indicator that trails the price action of an underlying asset and is used by traders to generate transaction signals or confirm the strength of a given trend. Since these indicators lag the price of the asset, a significant move will generally occur before the indicator is able to provide a signal. An example of a lagging indicator is a moving average crossover because it occurs after a certain price view has already happened. Technical traders use a short-term average crossing above a long-term average as confirmation when placing buy orders since it suggests an increase in momentum. The drawback of using this method only is that a significant move may already have occurred resulting in the trader entering a position too late. Leading indicators are the exact opposite to lagging indicators. They attempt to predict an event in the future and are mostly fundamentally based, but we will get into that a little bit later. For now, back to the simple moving averages. To calculate the 9-day simple moving average, you will simply add up the closing prices for the last 9 days and divide the total by the number of days, in this case, 9. At the close of business on the 10th day, you would recalculate the average by dropping off the first day and adding the 10th day to your calculation. Assume the following are the closing prices for the last 10 days of trading for the US dollar Japanese yen currency. The calculation for yesterday's 9 day simple moving average would be day 1's price all the way through to day 9's price divided by 9, giving us the answer. To calculate today's 9 day simple moving averages, all we have to do is drop off day 1 and use day 10 for our calculation to give us our answer. The mathematics is not that important, but just so you understand how it works. Placing the indicator on the chart is fairly simple. All you have to do is go up to Insert Indicators. It is there on our favorites list, but if it isn't, you'll find it under Trends. We'll use the last nine periods and then use the simple moving averages method. Choose a neutral color for that indicator. And then finally, we will adjust the thickness of the line. The simple moving average is nearly a line. The choice of the color is yours. We prefer to use neutral colors because when a full complement of technical studies are done on a chart, clarity is essential. The current point of the moving average is simply the average of the last chosen period's closing prices. In this example, we have chosen 9 as our period. Therefore, the average is worked out over only the last 9 day closes. Notice the current open candle has to close before it is included. The difference when displaying a moving average period of 9 on a different chart frame is shown here in the hourly chart. 
The theory of using one moving average is that if prices are above that moving average, the trend is up and vice versa. This belief is not completely correct as prices often gyrate above and below moving averages while still maintaining a particular trend direction. There is another trading secret that very few traders know about when using MAs. Although there is tremendous value in seeing whether prices are trading above or below an important moving average, it is often not the best way of identifying whether prices are in a particular trend. Rather, when a relevant and important moving average period is used, the current direction of that moving average is far better way of identifying the current price direction action. We'll be using a moving average period of 100 as its trend indicator. However, there are many professional traders who use either the 50 period moving average, while others prefer the 150 or even the 200 moving average period to establish the current trend of a particular time frame. This is a personal choice, because the reason why we chose to use the 100 trend indicator is because it's a balance between the 50 and the 200 period. The 50 period trend indicator can sometimes be too quick to change, while the 200 can be too slow. Again, although we use the 100 period trend indicator for the duration of the webinar, you are more than welcome to change to either a 50, 150 or 200 period and gauge for yourself because all four do have merit. Observing the changes of the moving average direction does take some getting used to. But this type of analysis is very simple and very effective. Just be aware that the lag effect has both positive and negative features. We have mentioned the positive feature already. The negative aspect of the lag is that prices have to either fall very hard or rise sharply before the moving average will change direction. Notice in this example that although the price has moved a lot, the trend indicator hasn't changed significantly. This is due to the lagging. However, on the positive side, because it hasn't turned, the trend has stayed bullish and we will continue to look for buy opportunities. We can't simply use the trend indicator. It would be ideal to find tools that can assist us in forecasting the actual up move right from the bottom of the wave. The trend indicator is pointing slightly upwards and the prices are trading above this moving average. This is a double moving average bullish confirmation. By analyzing when prices break above or below the important trend indicator of choice, you can anticipate changing trends early. The only way you can benefit from using trend indicators is to start watching market movements on all time. Remember that you cannot use the trend indicator alone, rather it will form part of your technical toolbox that will include many other studies such as the use of channels, pivot points, indicators, and candlestick analysis. Make no mistake, the trend identifier should become a key component of the trading decision. Isolation is never a good idea, especially when it comes to trading. Now that we've looked at the basis of the trend indicator, we can continue to discuss moving averages. The main difference between different periods for moving averages really boils down to sensitivity. The shorter the selected period, the more sensitive the moving average will be to the price changes. Here is an example of a 20 period moving average on a 5 minute chart. You can see how closely the moving average follows the market prices. The longer the time span, the less sensitive and smooth the average will be. See how far away from the price action this one is? It is ideal to use both sensitive and not so sensitive periods in combination for impact. An exponential moving average is similar to a simple moving average. The only difference is that it calculates more weight to more recent prices relative to older prices in an attempt to reduce the lag of the simple moving average and puts more emphasis on what the trade is doing right now. This makes the result of the exponential moving averages timelier and explains why the EMA is typically the preferred average among traders. We prefer to use the exponential moving averages over simple moving averages purely because it is quicker moving and slightly more reactive to directional changes. This doesn't prevent you from testing simple moving averages as they are also widely used even with the main trend indicator moving average. There is a third moving average called a weighted moving average 
which is very similar to the exponential moving average, but not very widely used. Therefore, we don't need to investigate that one for now. When trading, it is far more important to see what traders are doing now, rather than what they did last week or even last month. Most technical analysts believe that price action, the opening or closing price, is not enough on which to depend to properly predict buy or sell signals on the moving average crossover action, which we'll soon learn about. To solve this problem, analysts now assign more weight to the most recent price data by using the exponentially smooth moving average or EMA. Let's have a look at the difference with two nine moving averages together. A simple average is referred to as SMA9 and the exponential average is called EMA9. My EMA9 is purple and my SMA9 is olive. Notice that the EMA is closer to current prices. This is what is meant by the reduction in lag. There are four common ways of using moving averages. One moving average per graph, two moving averages, three moving averages, and of course the four moving averages per graph. We have a preference for using four moving averages. This incorporates the main trend indicator, a 100 exponential moving average, coupled with a special and widely used moving average called the 4, 9 and 18 trio, which you'll soon learn about. If you want to start out minimally, make sure you are at least using a major trend indicator that is 50, 100 or 200 moving average. Having said this, we advocate that as a start, you adopt the use of our recommended moving average setup. This will allow you to start following well-defined moving averages that will provide you not only with trend direction clues, but also relevant support and resistance levels. The most commonly used moving averages are the 20, 30, 50, 100 and 200 period averages. There are nevertheless two special triplet moving average combinations commonly used by professional traders. Once you've been trading for a while, feel free to test combinations of all of the above. However, if you find our preferred settings accurate, don't bewilder yourself, because ultimately each one has its strengths and drawbacks. Therefore, each popular moving average provides a different interpretation on what the price of pair price will do. There really isn't just one correct period setting. It's still critical to use moving averages on a short-term graph such as a 5-minute chart. As you've been taught, it's no use merely looking at one time frame. It's far more critical to observe the complete picture. Here's an example. We're looking at the pound versus the dollar in a 5 minute chart, an hourly chart, a 4 hourly chart, and a daily chart. And on it we have a short EMA, that is 20 EMA, and a longer EMA, that is 100 EMA. In order for us to plot our four moving averages on the chart, we will go to Indicators and choose Moving Averages, change the period to 4, and the Moving Average method to Exponential, and here we'll keep the color and thickness as it is for now. Next we will add the 9 Exponential Moving Average and use Lime as our main color. Plotting our third one, we'll change the period to 18 and select the color purple. And for our long exponential moving average, we're going to change the period to 100, use the color dark orange, and increase the thickness of the line. And there you have it. Should you have any questions regarding how you would set your moving averages or should you require any assistance in setting up your moving averages, please feel free to contact us on support at acmgold.co.za.